Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If using Sage 50 Premium Accounting or higher, you can also create phases for your jobs. Phases define the distinct parts of a job. For example, if you performed remodeling jobs, you may create phases for a remodel that include permits and applications, planning, demolition, and remodeling. Using phases lets you further refine tracking expenses and revenues for jobs by discrete phases of your choosing. Note that phases are not specific to a job and are available for all jobs you create in Sage 50. If using phases when assigning job costs, you simply assign expenses and revenues to a job and then to a specific phase within the job. You do this within the same job field in the line items area of the sales and purchase forms in Sage 50. If you need to further refine the job cost tracking, you can also use cost codes, which are discussed in a separate lesson. To create job phases, select Maintain, Job Costs, Phases from the menu bar to open the Maintain Phases window. Type an ID for the phase into the Phase ID field. Enter a description of the phase into the Description field. Note that you can check the Inactive checkbox later to inactivate phases you created but no longer use if needed. Next, select the type of cost associated with the phase. If you have more than one type of cost associated with a phase, then consider either using cost codes to further refine costs or creating separate phases for each cost type. To select a cost type, choose the This Phase uses the Cost Type drop-down to select the Cost Type for the phase. To use cost codes, select the This Phase uses Cost Codes option button. You can create the cost codes within the Maintain Cost Codes window after creating the necessary phases. To save the phase you have created, click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.